Good morning. You join me on another beautiful Mediterranean morning here in Herefordshire. Slightly more cloudy than it has been the past couple of weeks, but still, I don't think there's a lot of chance of rain. So we've had about 20 mil so far um, since it started raining about 10 days ago. Um, it's not a lot. It has done a bit of good. Um, and I think we've had more than a lot of people have had. And my summer cover crop has responded very nicely to this 20 mil. I did a video a few weeks ago now um, checking up on this and at the time I was pretty concerned but we have made quite a bit of progress. The mustard's flowered and it's just about going over and setting seed um, and now the cecilia is just sort of taking on the flowering button to keep the pollinators happy. Now, the idea is to graze this with weaned lambs in about three or four weeks' time. Um, by that time, obviously, this mustard's not going to be very palatable, and there's other bits in this that aren't going to be very tasty. But we'll have a nice bit of chicory, this shawkum, or sorkum, I don't know. An American will correct me on how to pronounce that. Um, will be tasty. There's some sunflowers that will be nice and leafy. Um, and the vetch is coming through now, so the lambs will have a nice bite to go at. But what I'm hoping is this mustard will set seed, as well as maybe the cecilia, um, and then when the lambs come through, they'll smash the seeds out, trample them into the floor, and as we're only, well, we're not even July yet, this field will get basically sort of free reseed, because during that dry weather, there was components of this cover crop that didn't germinate and we haven't got the best soil cover that we could have. So if we have another round of seeds growing, it will just help sort these bare areas out. Now we might have a bit of seed return in the wheat we're going to plant in the autumn then um i don't know whether we will or not but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it um be a bit free companion cropping if anything but although the cover crop looks a bit sparse in places it's what's going on below the ground that's important so i'll just dig up a few of these plants and show you how they're rooting so I've just dug up this bit of sorghum. Um, I've ripped a hell of a lot of roots off, but the roots I have pulled up, you can see, have a very nice rhizo sheath. So you can see the soil is sticking to the roots, meaning this plant is interacting with the soil life really nicely. So that's a very good sign. I should have brought a spade with me really, not just my knife and I could have dug the plants up properly. Ah, insert profanity here. Well, now I'm knifeless, so I'll just have to do it with my hands. Well, there we go. There was the start of a nice chicory taproot. I ripped it off, but the chicory is rooting down really nicely, drawing on that moisture deep within and producing this nice fodder. Annoyed about that. That's been one of my longest serving pen knives. About two years I've used that. Ugh. There's a nice mustard taproot, as you can see, going perfectly vertically down, signifying that there's no soil compaction in here, which there shouldn't be, because I did give it a light disking just to bring up anything that the sheep put down. Now, I'm glad to see that the sunflowers are thriving because some of my friends are getting married in August and they want sunflower decorations. So they will come in handy. But they do also have very good rooting architectures and there's a lot of nice leaf there for lambs to go at. Now, this cover crop is a bit thin, but the benefit it's delivering to the soil is huge. We've got all these different species of plants with a big amount of biomass 
acting as nice solar panels, capturing all that sunlight, pumping carbon and sugary exudates into the soil, feeding the life within and preparing this field for a very nice crop of wheat next year. And we're gonna start getting some grazing out of it in three weeks, a month's time. And that's gonna be clean grazing. There's gonna be no parasites. The lambs will do very well off it. So if you take into account the benefits this is doing for the soil, plus the grazing we're gonna get out of it, this is a far better option than if we'd went to plant spring barley or spring oats. Because with this, although it costs us a little bit of money to establish, it's not really gonna lose us a massive amount of money. Whereas if I planted a dodgy crop of barley or oats, then you could be looking at quite a loss. And you're doing a lot of work for nothing. You still gotta get the combine in, you still gotta sort the grain out or the lack of it, um, if you get it to that stage. And the soil is probably gonna be going backwards with a spring cereal, whereas with this, it is flying. So the winter cover crop that was on here and was grazed, plus this summer cover crop that is pumping carbon into the soil, we've set this field up really nicely for the next couple of years in cereal crops. So we'll get three months of grazing off this in the back end of the summer, put some weaned lambs out here, um, and then come end of September, beginning of October, we'll just spray it off and then direct drill straight into it. So as I said, we'll go in with a first wheat. Um, we'll see how that does, whether or not we go in with a second wheat and then finish it off with oats, or we just go straight from the first wheat to oats. Um, and then this field is due to go down into a herbal lay for three or four years. So a lot of people would consider doing stuff like this hippie farming, but I'm not gonna lose any sleep over that because in actual fact, it's just economical farming. We're moving away from extractive farming systems that are reliant upon chemicals and fertilizers towards a more regenerative way of doing things, which is helping our bottom line and building resilience into our farming system. And I much prefer to look at something like this that we're gonna make good use of grazing than look at a very sorry looking crop of spring cereals. I mean, obviously some people can get spring cereals to work really well, but whenever we've tried in the past, it's always been a disaster. So there's no point in subjecting ourselves to that misery again. Anyway, just a brief little catch up of what's going on here. Haven't put out a huge amount of videos recently, just because we're in a bit of a lull um, and there's not a huge amount going on at the moment. Um, we will start to get busy now um, as we head towards harvest. So keep your eyes peeled, lots of interesting stuff going on and I will keep the videos coming. I say not a lot going on. There's always a lot going on. It's just, we've been doing the monotonous chores for the past couple of weeks. But as I said, stay tuned.